there's a guy in WWE who doesn't play politics at all, and maybe that could be to his detriment. It's one of my favorite wrestlers, uh, Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan. Now, when he was in ROH, his title run was probably my favorite title run um, in wrestling. I mean, it was unbelievable what he was able to do and who he was able to beat and the amazing matches he had. Can you talk a little bit about Brian Danielson becoming the ROH champ? And did you really envision him as, as the top guy, or were you even not so sold on him? Um, Brian, I, I have more good things to say about Brian than anybody else as far as um, being a hard worker and quality person. And uh, one thing that I'll always greatly respect about Brian is, um, is he's one of those guys that doesn't forget where he came from. And he remembers who, who was there for him uh, back in the day, even though he did more for, for me than I ever did for him by far, by the way that, you know, he made me. He made my reputation as a booker. And he would have been where he was or is as a wrestler, whether I ever met him or not. And, uh, but still at the same time, he realized our, our history and our past and our relationship. And when the time came that uh, he could help us out, when, when he was let go by WWE after that tie incident, uh, I, you know, he called me up immediately and, and we offered him a reasonable price, but he did cut us a little bit of a break. And uh, he did those Dranga USA and Evolve shows for us. And um, and when when I was fired by ROH, he was one of the guys that that was in my corner and was like, hey, what can we do? And we were actually pretty close to starting something. It, it did become evolved, but there was going to be something else in the form that we had started. But he uh, and and what we had talked about. But he was he was the guy that that really like came to my side with all that. So um, that just speaks to what kind of person he is. And um, I I'll, I'll, I can never say a negative word about him. I mean. I, uh, both in the ring and and out the ring and and I did go to I, I swore I'd never go to WrestleMania unless I was working one and I never tried to work one but um, last year at about two hours before showtime I kind of dawned on me that what was going to happen with Brian on it and I was like I, I have to go there so I, I actually fortunately I have some connections there so I managed to secure a ticket uh, with about two hours before showtime and I got in right by the hard camera and. To see, and I actually got there late because I wasn't planning on going. I got, I walked in about five minutes into that opening match with him in Triple H, and um, I had tears in my eyes when he beat Triple H because I didn't know he was going to win the title, but it was pretty obvious. But when he did, and it cemented that that all was going to happen, I had tears in my eyes because I, I saw where I knew where he had to come from, and I knew the times he had almost quit and the frustrations he went through and the pain and the injuries he went through to get to that moment. And um, when he he won the belt, and and I'm so happy that I I ended up going to that, and I was so close to not, but I was so happy to be there to, to just witness it in person. Um, so for him to be uh, what he did as ROH champion was no surprise. I mean, he was obviously the guy we we were building on since the first show. And I will admit, I thought he lacked a personality back then. He obviously didn't lack wrestling ability, and but then he grew into this personality, and it was so much fun watching him grow into that personality. And that's what he did as ROH champion. He he he, he himself grew with the title. Like uh, he developed with the title, and he developed that personality to go along with his wrestling ability. And he learned how to carry a promotion on his shoulders then. And uh, that's, you know, what he did in WWE or what he's doing now as well. So um, I've just been very fortunate not just to be able to have worked with such a, a great wrestler as Brian and watch him grow and develop, but also such a great person. And, and he, he, uh, I, he's the one guy, I mean, I'm happy when everybody achieves success. It, it does give me, when I see guys and I know where they've come from on the indies and what they've gone through and I've seen it firsthand and then they go to WWE and, and they make hundreds of thousands or millions, I'm always happy, but happy for them. Uh, but I really can't say that I'm, I'm happier for anybody than Brian to, to really get everything that he's deserved and, and have that WrestleMania mo- moment and, and live the life that he does now. And um, uh, he's just, he'll, he'll always be a very special person to me.